Hi, I'm Jerry from Glass Eyes Online, and today I'm here to talk about calipers or micrometers if you're really into it. This set of calipers is probably as cheap as you can get. I think I got this at like Harbor Freight for a couple dollars, and it can be misleading as to how it measures. And I'll show you, a customer sent me this photo over here on the left that she claims that this was a 10 millimeter eye that I sent. Well, actually the measurement starts here at the zero. It's actually a 12 millimeter eye. And I, if you look at the calipers, and if I were to open this up, this is not the measuring point. The zero is the measuring point. So that opening is not at two millimeters it's actually five millimeters and as you move this is still not the measuring point always the zero where the arrow is now I bought this I think I got these at Lowe's this is a little bit more accurate it starts at zeros and and keeps going incrementally and we also have a gauge to measure in interest inches so if I go here to 50 or one half of an inch it's coming in at probably around 12.7 millimeters which is uh, multiplied by two would be 25.4 millimeters which equals exactly one inch so if I go to 25 millimeters well you see it's it's, it's about one inch right there 25.4 millimeters equals one inch Okay, so that leads us on to our next adventure. Now, on the other side of measuring the diameter, we have, we can measure the size as a whole with this one. You can see how it moves and watch. If we put it in the hole and move it out, we'd find that that hole is nine millimeters wide and approximately six millimeters high so you have the length and the height that could be important for you to know the since all of our eyes are measured by the iris which is the color part it would be important to know that that iris can off this is a five millimeter iris this is a six millimeter iris and what we're finding is that the overall diameter is 12 millimeters by 9 millimeters, which would fit comfortably, even the 5 millimeter would probably fit in from the back. It does fit in very well. The only difference would be if you wanted to put in a larger pupil, that can make the difference in the look that you want. So you know you have to balance to the difference between the size of the hole and the expression that you would like to see in your doll if you'd like the large pupil or where is it i can't find it here or a smaller pupil and that's a choice you have to make and of course you anybody who's doing this knows that they're glued from the inside the head before you uh, commit to brain surgery you should have the eyes ready to go hi i'm caroline from glass eyes online and today i'm going to show you where to find the millimeter to inch conversion chart on our website right now we're on the home page and i'm just going to scroll down to the bottom of the home page here you see why buy from us. Below that, the fourth one down is conversion chart. So you'll click on conversion chart and it takes you right to our conversion chart. This comes in handy if you're measuring in inches and you need to convert to millimeters when you're trying to decide what size eyes and noses you need. So for example, down here where it says 12 millimeter, if you're measuring uh, an eye that's a half an inch, you would want to probably go with the 12 millimeter. 
which is 0.472 inches. That's just a quick look at how to find the metric to inch conversion chart at our website on the home page.